time! Come on, let's go! Okay, we know the units already. So, you know, like, it's not a surprise. But I'm still gonna be hyped. The trailer is super, super loud, guys. It's a new music! But it's not loud. I'm gonna increase it real quick. Looks sick, looks sick! Ooh, the artwork is fire! Oh wow, man! Okay! Oh wow! Okay! The special looks fire! The GOAT! Jojiro the GOAT! Come on! Oh wow, it's from the anime! It's literally from the anime, man! Fire, bro! Come on, man! It, like, the trailer was good, no? Actually, it was good! Wow, they even made the new music! Alright, guys, welcome back! I felt like including the Thousand Year Blood War trailer to the first part of the video because I feel like it was a really good trailer for the new units. Stats and skills, I already went over with the stats on stream. Our first unit is Yamamoto, my personal favorite in the banner. He's gonna be the Brave Battle unit of the banner right now. And let me tell you that he's absolutely overpowered. It's just not even close. Like, none of the other Brave Battle units are doing what he does, man. Melee normal attack, right? All attacks except the second skill are gonna inflict burn and laceration. The second skill is a debuff, normal attack. Fourth hit is a double blow. Essentially, it just does it, you know, it just double damage, right? Essentially. Guaranteed status element infliction against the hard attribute no affiliation enemies. It's guaranteed hit, bro. It's guaranteed burn and guaranteed laceration against the no affiliation enemies. So this is a Yuha Baha counter. It's GG, you know? It's literally GG, bro. Now this skill, the double blow skill, will be crazy for the Yama and you're gonna see it in an instant. Why? Captain and no affiliation killer. Bankai Zaka no Tachi. We do have 20% DR. Sprinter plus one. Paralysis Immunity, Marauder, Guard Break, and Piercing the Melee Resistance of the enemies. Flurry plus 2, and Flurry plus 1 for the first 10 seconds of the game. So it's gonna be Flurry plus 3 in total, right? And you do have the double hit at the last auto attack. So that's essentially Flurry plus 6, if you know what I mean. And GG bro, no one is gonna survive that. No one is gonna survive that. Pierce Barrier, boys. Brave Battle Immunity for 10 seconds, ignoring the immunity, prevent loss this survival, and half stamina only, 50% damage taken. In addition to that, if you didn't need enough damage right now, you're gonna have this one as well. Increase normal attack damage when an enemy or an ally is dead. And that stacks. Ay 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 bro, it's gonna be... It's GG, like Yama... Absolutely overpowered in Brave Battles. Like, it's just not even close. It's just not even close. And plus to that, by the way, bonus points that he's in a singularly cool looking, super cool looking unit, man. You're gonna see it in the gameplay. Thousand Year Retsu Melee Strong Attack Damage Unit. We all expected this unit to be normal attack. It's not. Weakening on everything. Status ailment trap. The same skill that Mayuri has as well. Insta kill chance of the special move. And the new skill that is called Rampage. Absolutely overpowered by the way. Super super easy to use. Captain and Soul Reaper killer on the unit. Strong attack damage 20% and a recharge as well at the same time. It's a double soul trait on a new unit. So what? If she's ever gonna get resurrected in like... Five years. She's gonna have like three soul traits. That's crazy, man. Sprinter plus two. Recovery stamina. And cooldown reduction 6%. This is overpowered, by the way. Super overpowered on a unit like this. Because she has frenzy plus two. Status ailment boost. Marauder and damage inflicted at full stab. Just insane. By the way, the rampage skill, we are gonna go over with that in a minute. Don't worry about it. Long stride, right? Full immunity. Havoc. 
insane unit. Like, it's insane. Turbo broken, man. Turbo broken. In addition to that, she's overpowered in arena as well. Like, nothing much to say, bro. Like, she got the skills. She has the stuff. Absolutely fantastic, man. Now, the only unit in the banner who got, like, the lower side of the treatment in terms of damage, I feel like, is Chojiro. But he still has a good kit, and he's gonna be the former unit of the banner. Melee strong attack damage, paralysis on all of the attack, speed, droplets, plus 10. And you have 30% assault rate. So he's like a turbo droplet former, you know, essentially. Quincy killer, frenzy plus 2, devastation. Technique attributes sorry per damage to the status affected enemies 40% and Technique attributes special move damage as well like you're gonna put in Chojiro into the team and he's gonna give you 70% damage on the special move on your technique units if you're a soul reaper. It's crazy bro. It's crazy, you know damage to the paralyzed recharge speed potions and speed droplets as well, right? It's good, it's fire, you know, you do have the Sprinter, the Havoc, stuff like that. But he's not as good as, like, Retsu, if you know what I mean. Like, it's, it's good damage, but it's nothing crazy, right? Like, it's, it's not crazy damage. Frenzy plus 2, on the other hand, though, still nowadays is more than enough. It's more than enough. And he got this one as well, you know, this combo. You know, it's, it's good. Like, it's, it's good. Now, the new skill. Let's break down the new skill. Rampage, plus 2%. Damage is increased by 2% for every enemy that has been defeated with an upper limit of 100%. So it's a 100% full damage that is going to work on your special move, your abilities and your auto attacks at the same time. The number of enemies defeated by the team party members does not affect the skill. You know, so you have to kill the enemies, which is super easy, bro. Like, what, bro? You're going to do like two lobbies, three lobbies and you're already uh, at like 100%. The damage is gonna be crazy. Frenzy plus two. Oh, here. Give me a sec. Frenzy plus two with SP boost, full stam, and the 100% damage from the rampage. It's just insane. If you know what I mean? It's insane damage, bro. Insane damage. The banner fillers. Not that good, but what can you expect? You know, it's 1000 year blood for banner. So normally the units are gonna be 1000 year blood for as well in the filler. The banner format though, I was uh, really, really happy. I was so happy, man. I was so happy when I have seen that it's not a seven step format banner. Just crazy happiness. Crazy happiness, man. Thank God that at least we're gonna have right now discounted multis and we are gonna have guaranteed five stores. Thank God, bro. Just thank God. Gameplay, let's go. What do we have here, man? I've seen the gameplay already. It's fantastic. Look at Chojiro, character's model. It's okay, no? I mean. What did we expect? You know, it's, it's a young Chose, you know, he's kind of goated, no? Let's go to the auto attacks real quick. Let's go, auto attacks. It looks really nice, but uh, you're never gonna use the auto attacks, you know? Like, it's, it's not gonna be a thing that you're using the most. The skills are uh, way cooler, trust me. The skills are way, way, way cooler. First skill, it to me, it looks like it's a beam. But at the same time, it can be an AoE ability as well. And oh, it's a beam. It's a beam for sure. It, it's a beam for sure. It's a 3k length beam. It looks really nice visually. The second skill is pulling in the enemies. Explodes afterwards. It's the Asashiro's skill. And Noel's as well. Christmas Noel. I do like this skill. I have been uh, using characters a lot. And uh, that have the skill. And the third skill is phenomenal. Look at the visuals, bro. Ah, this phenomenal. And the special as well. Looks really nice. Because uh, it's literally the shot from the anime. Looks nice, no? It's actually good looking. Retsu, let's go character model, bro. Absolutely insane. This was a thing that I said this day as well, like uh, during this morning, that I'm not sure how they're gonna make the character model for Retsu, but it's wow, bro. It's, it's crazy good looking, man. It's crazy good looking. Auto attacks, let's get in there already. Let me lower down the audio as well. You don't really care about the net, because again, she's spiritual pressure based, so the skills are more important. But um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. It doesn't look bad at all. First skill, it looks like a 3000 leg beam to me personally. Um, of course, it could be something else as well, maybe an AoE one, but it looks like a beam to me. The second skill is a launching forward attack, covers a nice range as well, as you can see. And the third skill is going to be a trap move that not a lot of people like. Now, 
I mean, this time around, it's not gonna be bad, right? I, I really don't think this move is gonna hurt the kid or anything like that. It just, it's just no diff. No diff, because she has the 6% cooldown reduction built in on top of the 12%, right? And you can spam your abilities nicely. It's not gonna be an issue. And at the same time, it's not that bad, you know, like, he's gonna activate the special, uh, the SP boost super easily. As you can see, he walks in there, bam, already SP boost, right? And, uh, it's not just a, a skill that you're gonna just throw out and whatever, it's not gonna do damage. It does damage first. It does damage first, it's an AoE distance skill first. 1100 length, you know, so it has a nice range to it. And after that, just push down that rep. Special, let me increase the volume. So well done, though. So well done, bro. It's it's so good looking. Like it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Okay, Yama the goat. Come on. Character model looks fire, man. I like it. I like Yama the most. I have to be honest. Among of the three, I think he's the coolest looking, the special as well, stuff like that. Even though he's the brave battle unit, I couldn't care less. He's so good looking. Look at him, man. Look at him. Auto attacks, super fire. Nice net string. Keep that in mind. The tornado, I mean, the flames around him. Here, this one is gonna be the double damage. This one will have in Brave Battles Flurry plus 6. It's crazy. It's crazy. You know? No one is gonna survive that. Let me tell you that. The first ability, just a nice tornado. Beautiful, right? Not like it matters because, like, he's auto attack based, normal attack. The second skill is a debuff that looks really good as well. He's breaking the ground. Look. Nice, man. Really good looking, in my opinion. Third skill, full screen. But the flames are crazy. Look, look. Ah, man, I'm gonna use this Yama even in PvE. I don't care. I just don't care. It looks so nice. It just looks so nice. Special move. I love the gradient effect on the special so much. I love that gray gradient on the special, man. It's beautiful, bro. It's literally from the anime. It's so good looking. Look, this part. Ah, ah, bro. It's so well done. So well done. I like it a lot, bro. It's an insane banner with an insane format of the steps, you know. Finally, it's not seven steps. The characters are all overpowered. If I have to rank them, Unohana is the best after the Niyama in Brave Battles and Chojiro at last. But if you're pulling any of them, you're chilling. Of course, the prize of the banner, I feel like, still will be Unohana. But uh, I'm going for Yama the most. I like Yama the most here. Phenomenal banner. I'm super satisfied. Good job, Caleb. Thank you guys for watching, man. Have a beautiful day slash night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye-bye.